Do you have $24,000 just lying around, nothing to do with it, maybe under a couch cushion? Because if so, Apple has the watch for you. So in the wee hours of the morning, Australian time, Apple has actually shown off the smartwatch that it has been talking about for at least the last six months. We've seen the Apple Watch, we now kind of understand what it does and we understand how much it's going to cost when it comes to Australia. So first to the good news, the Apple Watch looks entirely slick. It looks like a premium smartwatch, as it should. It looks like a premium watch full stop. It does things like Siri, there is Siri on there so you can actually talk to this watch. It will search the web for you, great for pub trivia. It will actually respond on the watch face itself. You can customize the watch faces on this device as well. So you can add a calendar for instance, you can add the weather, you can take those away if you want a, a better, sleeker look. Um, you can do a host of things in terms of how the watch actually looks and you can change that from day to day as you can with most smartwatches. The other things it does, workout. Um, so there's a workout app that Apple has produced that looks kind of amazing. It actually breaks it down by the gym machine that you're on. So if you're on the rowing machine, it will actually tell you how well you've done. The elliptical machine, things like that, it will tell you how much you're actually standing and how much you should be standing. Not entirely sure how it does that, seems a little bit magical mystical we'll work out how that happens it's also got lots of choice so this apple watch comes in a number of different form factors um, you can buy a gold version you can get a metal band with it it comes for large wrists small wrists it does come with the same size watch face however there's lots of different choices in terms of looking like a watch also, in addition to having a microphone, it has a speaker. So you can actually take calls on the Apple Watch, which is really quite interesting. Doesn't sound like it'd be useful, sounds like it'd be a bit naff on public transport. However, if you're in the car, if you're just away from your phone, it can be really useful to be able to do that. You can also dictate messages on the Apple Watch. So you can reply to text messages by sending a voice recording, or you can actually just send the text of what Siri thinks that you said. In terms of the not so good things on this, uh, we know that it's water resistant, however, we didn't hear anything about it being waterproof. So there's a chance if you take this in the pool, you will deeply regret it and have to go back to the Apple Store with a very sad story. We know that it has an 18 hour battery life now, which Apple is calling all day battery life because apparently um, Apple thinks that you sleep, which is a fair assumption. However, it'll be interesting to see just how much life is in this battery. There is Apple Pay on this watch, so potentially you could rub this at the cash register against a machine and you could pay for something. However, Apple Pay is not actually in Australia, so whether we'll see that here in any time soon really is yet to be seen. Apple also announced that you can add scribbles to this, so you can scribble on the watch face and send them to Apple Watch, other Apple Watches, and that is one of the most ridiculous features we've heard. I really like to see this, but I'd also really like to mock the people who are doing this. And then there's the kicker. So the Apple Watch will cost a lot of money. Seriously, a lot of money. If you get the top of the line Apple smartwatch, it will cost you 24 thousand Australian dollars. So basically you could buy a car or you could buy a smartwatch. In fact, you can probably buy two cars if you just lower your standards a little bit. You could buy 24 phones to which the smartwatch would connect. That's an awful lot of money. If you just want to get it on the ground level, that's $500. So you can buy the Apple Watch Sport for that amount. However, if you want something even modestly premium, you're talking about $1,000. You might want to save up, you might want to change your birthday. The pre-orders start on April 10, the watch goes on sale in Australia on April 24.